With boxing match between millionaire star YouTuber Logan Paul and the professional boxing legend Floyd Mayweather advancing close, many wonder about the odds at stake. Here is a quick insight into the highly anticipated exhibition matchup between Logan Paul and undefeated boxing champion Floyd Mayweather, held on Sunday 6th, June 2021 at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, and how it came to be. For those who surprisingly might not know who Logan Paul is, here's a quick heads up. Logan Paul is a huge YouTube sensation with over 23 million followers on his YouTube channel. He was featured among the top highest paid YouTubers by Forbes in 2018 with an estimated net worth of $19 million at the time. Over time, he has tried his hand in acting in various TV and film projects and owns a clothing brand called Maverick. Drawing his primary income from the YouTube revenue, a large chunk additionally comes in from his clothing line, podcast channel revenue, TV and film, and brand endorsements. Logan vs. KSI A paying boxing bout was added to the list in 2018 when Logan Paul went up against a fellow YouTuber and amateur boxer, KSI, in Manchester, England, but ended up losing the match to KSI over a split decision, a professionally scored match of six three-minute rounds. Nonetheless, the fight itself did extraordinarily well in terms of revenue. This single between amateur fights generated an estimated $150 million, with each contender pursing $75 million thanks to their huge fan following. Backed by his massive fan base, Logan then started taking over the professional MMA and boxing scene as he began to trash talking and calling out the best pro fighters to fight. And the rest of what followed has taken us here to the grand fight between two of the biggest celebrities. Logan vs. Mayweather, reading the room. The fight between Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather is branded as an exhibition, and rightly so, as it serves more of an entertainment purpose than actually promoting the sport itself. Needless to mention that this fight will bring huge money to both the fighters from all the hype and anticipation that has brewed over four months since their initially scheduled fight earlier this year in February was postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic. The professional MMA and boxing community has shown mixed sentiments over the fight, where many professional UFC fighters have shown open abhorrence to the event, calling it absurd and stupid while others seem to appreciate the new generation of fans that Paul Brothers have led into the boxing and MMA arenas. Oh well. Did we mention the younger Paul brother, Jake Paul, yet? Well, Logan Paul is not alone in his antics. Jake Paul, who is just as famous as his older brother, has also been active in the fighting arena and has previously knocked out former welterweight champion Ben Askren, who came out of his retirement to fight with Jake Paul. Mind you, that Ben Askren had been an undefeated UFC champion for a decade during this time. The fact of the matter is that the Paul brothers are no joke and are entirely capable of putting up a good fight and winning. In a recent interview about the imminent fight with Mayweather, Logan shared his thoughts, saying, He, Mayweather, really thinks I'm a YouTuber. He really thinks I'm a fake fighter. I'm going to knock, Mayweather, out and become the greatest boxer on the planet. Then I'm going to retire and not give Floyd the rematch. He doesn't know who he's getting in the ring with. On the other hand, Mayweather is confident and relaxed, looking forward to having fun with it. In an interview with Rob Moore on YouTube, he said, I prefer to go out, entertain, and have fun, but that doesn't mean that I want to fight 12 rounds. I think we've got a six round exhibition, and I think it's gonna be very entertaining, and the people are going to love it. The odds at stake. Looking at both fighters' track records, it is easy to see the absolute dominance and intimidation that Mayweather commands inside the boxing ring. Logan Paul has had only one professional boxing match to his credit, which he lost by split decision against an amateur YouTuber turned boxer, KSI. Meanwhile, Mayweather's record is an earthly incarnation of success with a clean 50-0 with 27 KOs, making him the all-time greatest boxing champion. The odds of Mayweather's success are currently 87.5%. In a recent discussion with Logan Paul on his podcast called Impulsive, the MMA legend Mike Tyson told Logan that he stood no chance against Mayweather. Seeing all the tipping odds in Mayweather's favor, it is interesting to imagine Logan Paul defeating Mayweather, against all odds, and breaking his all-time undefeated champion streak, which Logan Paul is fairly capable of given his size and dexterity. Nevertheless, no matter who wins, both the contenders are expected to pocket a hefty sum of money from this fight, a win-win situation for both. Combining the 250,000 base salary 
plus the 10% shares of the total pay-per-view revenue, Logan has estimated to bag as much as $20 million from this fight. Mayweather has been guaranteed a $10 million base salary and 50% of the total pay-per-view markups. Floyd Mayweather has been reluctant to state how much money he has estimated to procure publicly, but given the sheer chunk of pay-per-view shares and base salary, he can easily attain up to $100 million or more. Thus, there is no doubt that this event will be an incredible monetary success for both the contenders as well as the event organizers. However, a chunk of pro fighters have raised concerns over it. Concerns from Pro Fighters The main concern that many professional fighters have shown about such exhibit matches is that they will degrade the sport and damage its sanctity and athletic credentials. In an interview with What the Heck, the Walter Waite MMA UFC fighter Stephen Wonderboy Thompson expressed his aversion to such fight shows, saying that he finds it cringe and that it doesn't make sense for a professional athlete to get mixed up with YouTube people who are solely in it for the clout and entertainment. Thompson also couldn't help but express his desire to smack the brothers. And if you know anything about Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, you would know that he is one of the coolest, calmest, and nicest MMA fighters. So such words coming out of this mouth are honestly telling. However, Wonderboy Thompson is not the only one who desires to smack Paul Brothers in the face. They have been messing with various professional MMA fighters, and quite a few times, situations have come very close to throwing hands. Daniel D.C. Cormer, now retired, former WFC champion in lightweight heavyweight and heavyweight divisions, expressed himself on Twitter saying that he will smack Jake Paul when he sees him, after Jake called him out on social media. D.C. then confronted Jake Paul in front of 15,000 spectators at the UFC 261 pay-per-view, threatening to slap him. Both were broken up before anything could happen. Conclusion all sports, including combat sports, are a kind of entertainment, and while the concerns over trivialization of the sport are pretty legit, there is no doubt that the fight between Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather is a win-win situation in terms of money for all parties. This brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Let us know what you think about the fight between Logan and Floyd in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video if you liked it, and take a moment to subscribe to our channel for more exciting stuff. It means a lot to us.